Hi, uh, good afternoon. I'm Nivedita Chandra, founder and director of Value Mind Technologies. And today we're going to do a session about how digital HR is going to impact the workplace and what we can learn from it. So uh, before we begin, I've been working in the HR space for more than 20 years now and at Value Mind Technologies, we help organizations implement digital HR to improve their employee experience. What is digital HR? Most often we confuse it with digitized HR, which is you know once you've implemented an HRIS, so we believe that it's a digital HR system. But HRIS is just part of the automation story. Digital HR or true digital HR takes the HR system out of the bounds of an organization into all the spaces, the digital spaces where the employees and candidates operate or exist, be it social media, e-commerce, or you know, the various other channels. So let's see, uh, let's kickstart today's discussion. So you can post your questions, your queries, you can reach out to me through Jobs for Her for any clarifications that you have in this area. There's a question from Tina. I have been in finance and operations all this time, but I'm now considering a move to HR as it's always interested me. Any courses you can suggest for the same? So, um, yeah, there are a lot of uh, courses these days available in HR from various institutes, uh, uh, ACHRM and, you know, there are several other certification bodies also that offer courses. Uh, and there are uh, postgraduate colleges like uh, TIS or XLRI or, you know, depending on which city you are in, that offer long-term and short-term courses ranging from three, three months, six months to a year uh, in HR. But, uh, I think uh, the most pragmatic approach for you to move from finance to HR would be to look for opportunities within your organization as to how you can augment the HR team. So that would be a more practical and a convenient way, way to, for you to move into HR rather than you know doing one course and then looking for a job in a fresh organization. Uh, there is one question from Sonal. With the digitalization of HR processes, is one's HR career in jeopardy? So um, I think this always has been a concern area. You know, whenever we have uh, robots or any kind of digitalization, uh, is that going to take my job away? Is that going to change my job in such a way that I'll no longer be relevant? So those are genuine concerns. but time has demonstrated that as technologies change, jobs evolve and there are more meaningful additions to your job. You know, it's, it's not the end of your career. So uh, the answer to this question is you need to evolve in your role as an HR person. 10 years down the line, an HR business partner had a very, very static role as to, you know, this is, uh, you have a job opening from the business coming, you post it on Nokri.com, you post it on five job boards, you'll get some resumes, you shortlist them, and you uh, process them. So that was a fairly static process. Now, you need, it's, it's not that simple. You need to be aware where your candidates are, how you need to get, you know, uh, lure your candidates into the company, what are the digital channels where you need to be present as an organization. So it's become a lot more interesting, it's become a lot more challenging, but one thing it is not, that it's not put your career in jeopardy, as long as you're serious about your career. So yes, careers evolve, but they are there, they are more, in fact, they are now more relevant, and HR is no longer just a uh, just an admin department. It is very much a, a strategic business partner. So from that perspective, it's made your career even more relevant and important. Question from Priya. I've been in the HR sector for eight years now. With HR going digital, 
what are the alternate careers one can consider? So my question to Priya is, why would you consider an alternate career with HR going digital? It's not that HR has gone digital and then there's no need for an HR person. In fact, now an HR person is all the more important and relevant in this scenario. So I'd say that there are loads of alternate careers that you can consider, but now is the time that you seriously put in more you know, learning and effort into growing your career in the digital HR space. So within HR, there are a lot more streams. You know, marketing has become a key stream in HR, within HR. So um, I see a lot of questions around concerns of whether my career is going to stay the way it is, whether I need to change with HR going digital. If I would like to, you know, junk all such concerns and you need you, you need to be absolutely confident that your career in HR is going to become more meaningful and more important with HR going digital. There's a question from Devya. Can women on a break start with digital HR? What are the prospects? So, um, the answer to this is yes, they can definitely start, but uh, it also depends what your previous skills or previous work experience has been. You can always take some short-term or long-term courses to understand you know, the new technologies in HR, or, you know, pick up skills in HR. Obviously, you know, it's, it's not rocket science. You need to have more uh, people, uh, empathy and understanding of uh, uh, how organizations work, how people, uh, you know, a greater ability to connect with people. And if you have that, you can definitely build your career in, in HR. If you have an inclination towards tech, you could pick up on the tech side in HR. Uh, so, yeah, definitely you can, uh, you know, start off a career in HR, but uh, practically, uh, for for women on a break to you know you might not start off with uh, you know real meaningful chunks of work to begin with you know that's that's true for all industries for, for anybody starting in a new space but uh, you know once you're at it once you picked up the skills start working with smaller organizations do more meaningful roles and then you can build your career in in digital HR. So, uh, Devya, uh, you have more than five years of experience in HR generalist role. Can you suggest any online courses through which I can learn more about digital HR? Uh, there are a lot of uh, courses on EDX, Coursera, and uh, many of these uh, you know, online, online sites. They're available. So most of them are free. Some of them are paid. Uh, so you could look up courses around the... Uh, People analytics uh, on uh, improving employee branding, on uh, the various digital channels uh, where organizations can be present to get candidates. So, you know, depending uh, on your interest areas, there are a lot of courses that you can go through. Uh, courses on how you can implement digital strategies to improve talent management within an organization. And uh, I think that should help you get some ideas of uh, what are the different new things you can do for an organization. And once you're able to put that across to your prospective recruiters, they you go, you're, you know, you've landed yourself a job. So I think uh, HR is uh, now is more about asking the right questions and answering them or finding solutions to them, applying the new technologies that are available. So far, all the, you know, the AI, artificial intelligence, or uh, you know, all the uh, 
technologies were used only for the product side or the food business side hr was three you know hr was mostly an operational or, or administrative bucket but now a lot of thought is going into how to maximize the human potential how to get the best out of your employees how to understand who are your best employees um, how to create an employee wow experience earlier it was mostly about the customers how to create a you know great brand and great customer value but now uh, hr leaders and ceos are thinking about how to create an organization brand for their own employees and as well as for candidates so that people good people come and work with them and good people stay and work with them so that's the reason why digital hr is is relevant now so answering uh, amida's question what is digital hr and how is digital hr different from general hr activities so uh, as i said a general hr activity is pretty static you have it out on the road map you know uh, from hire to retire a job opening is created uh, a person uh, a job offer is created people will be interviewed people will be recruited people will go through the regular employee cycle you will have performance management you will have benefits compensation so it's a, dig, uh, a regular hr or a digitized hr is purely operational this all these processes can be managed in a manual way for a small company in uh, an hris for a large or for uh, an evolved company you could have a system in place to manage the uh, the day to day operations of the company so a, a normal hr is keeping the lights on making sure that the system is running making sure you have the system you have the data of the people in the system a digital hr is deriving value from the data or value from the people so where the problems cannot be solved you know, today's organizations problems cannot be solved by an hr generalist or a uh, digitized it's just a digitized hr you need to go a step beyond so an example for that would be did your hr had have a social media strategy is your hr uh, present on facebook or linkedin and twitter and tiktok or youtube to get candidates to you know, create an employee brand or uh, to reach out to prospective candidates to reach out to employees so earlier that was solely in the domain of marketing it was largely the target segment for that we were also clients or external customers employees somewhere benefited from it but now it's an all out strategy for hr to be present in all the spaces where prospective candidates or employees can to create a brand because it's important now to create a brand attract good talent so how do you do that you do that having a digital hr strategy so once you have people knowing about your organization people will apply to the job of you know, what uh, the opening people will want to work with you now when you have people coming in to work with you how do you evaluate who is the best candidate so you might have a thousand applications but you might have a few job openings so how do you sift through all those resumes to get good quality candidates there you need to implement some digital hr yeah, techniques or you know artificial intelligence algorithm to understand who are the best candidates to work with and who are not so good candidates and once you have identified the good people that you want to work with you want them to join your organization how do you ensure that they are glued on to your organization so you, know, you might have free boarding gone boarding gamification a lot of uh, tools and uh, products available there that you can implement to make sure the candidate 
works, uh, joins your organization. Once people join your organization, how do you keep them motivated? How do you keep them getting more learning? How do you manage uh, their training and their skills, performance? How do you encourage your, your employees to take control of their careers and progress? Most, you know, in, in HR, most people know how uh, how dull it is to you know, get a training list with these are the 10 trainings you have to complete and what a tough task it is for an HR uh, to make sure that there's 100% compliance and all the employees complete all the trainings within the stipulated time. In my experience, most of the HR uh, folks struggle with that. So in digital HR, we would look at options of how we can improve this either through gamification, either through introducing rewards, uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, you know, tools, techniques that we have. So digital HR is essentially taking charge of the problems, identifying the problem pockets or improvement areas and implementing the latest technologies or uh, techniques to fill those gaps. Priyadarshini asks, what is the best way to upgrade in HR industry? So I'm not quite clear what you mean by upgrade um, in HR industry. Do you mean to upgrade your own skills or you mean to upgrade uh, the HR system for an organization? If you could uh, give more clarity on that. I've already uh, shared how you can upgrade your skills. There are a lot of uh, online courses, both free, paid. There are a lot of short duration, long duration courses. You just need to uh, go to uh, this, the university or college of your choice and uh, check them out. The best way, yeah, if it's your personal skills, um, first you should read uh, on, you know, go through the online material that's available. There's loads of online material available that you can learn and the best way to upgrade would be apply that in your own job. Akansha, what can I do to enhance my skills in the HR field? I think we've already uh, touched upon that. If you're working for an organization in the HR, uh, you need to see in how many ways you can you know, improve HR for your organization. So you can sit down with your uh, boss, your CEO, uh, talk about what their expectations from the HR function would be, how you can improve it, and then uh, see uh, you know, what, what you can, uh, where you can help. So the best way to enhance skills is to do it on the job. You can go through the courses to get a theoretical knowledge, but unless and until you implemented it, it's half paid. So, um, Hamida, what ex your question is, what exactly digital HR consists and how helpful is digital HR to freshers? So, uh, are you asking how helpful is digital HR to freshers who are seeking to start their career in HR? Digital HR is not uh, you know, a one whole career line altogether. Digital HR is implementing digital technologies in the HR function. So HR folks, HR generalists pick up the digital skills. And by digital skills, we mean working on an HRIS to start with, right? A human resource, resource information system or an ERP, and getting an understanding of the various digital channels, getting an understanding about gamification, an understanding about how gamification can be built into talent management systems. So, if you are to know what digital HR is, from scratch, you need to start working with the various systems that HR function uses. 
right from pre-boarding, non-boarding, recruitment, poor HR, compensation and benefits. So you need to have an understanding of what are the systems an HR function uses, an understanding of the various processes and how these processes work with the current social environment, the, how, the, how, it's, uh, how is Facebook, how is the current social communications environment affecting the processes and the people. Another important aspect of digital HR is analytics. So there, uh, how you, as an HR, you would have loads and loads of people data about employee demographics, about employee skills, about what employees like, don't like, where to spend their time on. As an HR, how you can derive meaningful insights from this data for your organization. For example, understand attrition reports. What are the key reasons why employees are leaving your organization? What are the kind of employees that are the best performers for the organization? So people analytics is an important aspect for digital HR. And how is digital HR helpful to freshers? So if you are a fresher looking to kickstart your career in, in HR, and if you have experience in digital, which is understanding of HR system, understanding of analytics, understanding of how to process data, then you definitely will have an edge in, in HR because you would you'd be able to resolve or implement certain solutions. So we have a question from uh, Minakshi. How digital HR will work in future? And what opportunities are available? Are companies opting for digital HR? So uh, just as it is for every other sphere in, in organizations, digital HR is inevitable. It's here and it's here to stay. And companies are adopting digital HR and the speed of adoption is increasing you know, every, every, every year, every six months. So from smaller organizations which are more agile, you find them more inclined towards implementing a holistic digital HR strategy. And there are the larger corporates which also are implementing digital in HR. So, you know, you find almost 70% of the organizations having at least some sort of a digital HR strategy and working towards implementing it. And the uh, question is, how is digital HR going to work in the future? From an organization's perspective, um, I think HR is now a strategic partner in identifying key talent, in skilling the key talent, in making sure that people have the right skills for the job and people stay committed and motivated in the organization. So digital HR is going to be leveraged by organizations to improve their overall employee potential and employee experience. And if you have the ability in this field, if you have an understanding of technologies and analytics, then you definitely will have a good career in this field. Do you need any certifications uh, for grading to digital HR and which companies are offering this? So um, there are no specific digital HR certifications being offered by companies, but a lot of one-time courses to keep coming up. Uh, you could check on Mercer or Hewitt or uh, some you know, courses by KPMG around design thinking in HR. Uh, other, uh, there are HR think tanks like SHRM or HR Institute, which have courses. Uh, 
then we have a symbiosis uh, in, in Pune. So there, uh, you know, apart from uh, certain companies that offer uh, a short two-day, three-day course to uh, help you enhance your skill in digital nature, uh, there are uh, the colleges which have a strong HR function like TISS or Symbiosis or uh, you know, some of the IIMs. So they also offer uh, HR uh, courses. Uh, so you could check out the websites of colleges for courses in this field um, to improve your skills in this area. And you, you'd, you'd find a lot of courses um, online also on, um, on EDX or Coursera. So more, most more important than just certifications, uh, you can always uh, go to uh, universities or uh, websites to get certifications. But more important than certifications is to implement it, to do it within your organization and create results, you know, real results. And that is a proof of pudding. That is what's going to really help you in your uh, career. And if you are a woman who is looking to kickstart or restart your uh, you know, journey then uh, definitely uh, going for any of the courses available um, and uh, start off with an organization in each area so i think uh, we are at the close of the session it's uh, 12 30. if you have any further questions you could connect with me uh, through uh, jobs for her and I'd be happy to answer all your queries and concerns. So thank you, everyone. Hope you had a meaningful and an informative session.